episode of Skybounds are here on the Monster Island as always and the only reason I'm up in the air is because as I was AFK getting ready to do this episode Rush stopped by with a little gift behind your house. I kind of heard some dirt blocks but I was indeed preparing for the episode and what is this? Open only if you remember this sentence. Oh my god there is a joy. I want the joy. That was actually from I know what that's from our prefix. I was hovering over the brand new set of prefixes that are available with this monthly crate and I ended up getting a trail so I didn't get a chance at a prefix. Now I do have the flower, but I was like, oh my god, Joy, it's so cool. I can't. Eh. Huh. Oh my, as if, as if Rush, that's awesome, I have Joy. Ah, that goes so well for Glad. Yes. <laughs> We'll just activate that, and we need to activate the prefix. Yes, that is so freaking awesome. Thank you, my dude. Left click to change, and now our prefix is joy, which is so awesome. I really, really enjoy it. That is so perfect. So, guys, back to our episode. I had to check that out. I was just so, so curious. But back to our episode. I hope you guys have been enjoying this week as much as I have recording it of opening all the different ob openables that we can actually gather. Now, someone did mention the artifacts from the mining world. If anyone wants me to open 64 of their artifacts, I'll do it, but um, I, I don't have any artifacts. I don't do Mining Worlds enough, guys, but we do have a lot of different things today. So now we did leave off with the Farming Rune last time, which was actually way more OP than I thought it would be. Very surprising. Thank God we can do Slash Day, because, oh, it's so much prettier. So much more pretty. Now, we do have a few things in our inventory to go through because we made it to Day 10 Loyalty Crate, guys. I am so proud of myself personally that I was able to do this for you guys because I am terrible at logging on daily and of course we have our weeklies which it has indeed been a week since we've opened them and we do have that eternal weekly reward crate that we get to open but I think today I think we'll start with the day 10 I think oh my god there's immortal boosters Ooh, this is getting a lot more spicy and a lot better loot oh my goodness okay what are we gonna get oh oh a super storm gen that is freaking awesome. Awesome. I love that. I love that. So we will do our weeklies and then we're going to decide what we are opening today. So weekly, ultra rank, no abortal boosters, but that is okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Orb. Orb of flight. I had a feeling it might be an orb of flight, but that's okay. We still have three more weekly crates to open. Oh, here we go. And we go, and we go. Uh, mortal boosters. I mean, that's exactly what we want out of this. If we can have it, or an RC box is fine. Don't give me the opportunity. No. Nope. Ah, it's trolled so hard. Can we get any better loot from our Savage Weekly? Here we go. Oh my goodness. Um, there's no mortal shards in here, people. But there's a lot of ore seeds. Yes, a 10 ore seed box. That is fantastic. That's actually really, really spicy loot. And it, it does give us a lot of money in the long run. Can we see, at least see an immortal kit in this weekly? I just want to see it. I mean, I want it, but I also just want to see it. Three, two, one. No immortal shards in all four. Oh, you hurt me, game. You hurt me, but that's okay. What are we going to get instead? And all items XP booster. <gasps> Weeklies don't treat me right, guys. They just don't treat me right. I never get good stuff. But let's go put the stuff away so we don't mix it up with everything else we own. Now, I think we have Super Storm Gens collecting. Orb immunities definitely go down here. And the XP booster and our Flight Orb if it stacks. If not, we chuck it. <laughs> it's basically the rule. If it doesn't stack, I don't need more... More of them in my, anywhere in my, uh, in my house or anywhere on the island because they're just not that helpful. But today, today, what are we going to open? What are we going to open today? I think, I think it's ancient rune day. So we still need two mystic timbers, which I'll be able to get once my eye kits reset. Actually. Okay. Um. Well, we actually have enough Mystic Timbers, but we're not going to do the Mystic Timbers today because that episode is going to take 
forever to edit, and I want to get this episode to you guys in the next hour or two. So I will start opening Mystic Timbers today on my island over the over the course of today and start recording that because it's going to take a while. But today we are going to open 64 ancient runes. Now we already have a box set up for it right here. Nice and empty. It's empty. So we'll just put our sign away and start opening these. So we'll start with eight as we usually do. Now I did have challenges. Now they are going to reset or they are, they are already reset unfortunately, but find and open 10 name fragment crates. That's actually really easy to do. Brew a level two or three necro splash potion and kill 100 monsters, which we can finally do instead of accidentally resetting it. But we're going to start with eight of these. What are we going to get out of Ancient Runes? I am super excited to find out. Um, stuff? Spells, spells, mystery eggs, an, a decent sized challenge XP bottle, some golden apples, some notch apples, and one name fragment crate with the custom name fragment book. Well, I mean, we can open the name fragment crate, but we probably will just reserve it in the chest of goodies to see what we get by the end of this week. Now, I think this challenge is actually going to take longer than a week. We got a kill tracker! Yay! Said nobody ever. Said nobody ever. On to eight. Eight more of them. I mean, we did get some bottle of item XP. I mean... A soul stone? That's good. Soul stones are good. Tons of challenge XP and item XP, though. A transforming skull to open, so we're already getting some openables. We got another 5,000... A lot of experience comes out of this, and a soul stone, which is actually pretty darn good. Grab another eight. Here we go, here we go. What are we gonna get? Another kill tracker! Ooh! There's a potion here and an Orsi box? Okay, a three Orsi box. Not too, too much, to be honest. Another challenge XP bottle. We got more item XP, which is actually really good. A lot more item XP. A legendary relic as an openable? That's really good. What else here? I could have sworn I saw something else. Oh, it was a legendary relic, not a legendary potion. Why would I get a legendary potion? I think there's ancient brews in here somewhere. There's another eight. Okay. Is our luck going to get any better? Enchantment crate. Okay. And an ancient rune helmet. And of course, because our mortal stone helmet was prop five on breaking five, and then the legendary helmet was prop four on breaking four, of course... The Ancient Rune Helmet and Set will be Prot 3 on Breaking 3. That makes a ton of sense. An Arcane Shard, which is nice and helpful. Some more Challenge XP and an Orb of Immunity. I mean, so far... Eh, I mean, I did open Ancient Runes like a week ago and got one Immortal Booster. But it doesn't look like that's the case today, guys. Got a Mining World Pass. The Ancient Hammer is not bad. It's still only Sharp 4. I believe you can indeed get Sharp 5. But it does come with a lot of enchantments at level 5, which is not too bad. Random Paper Schematic again. Could be worth money. What's this? Another Name Fragment Crate. Alright. 7 and 8. That Soul Stone does indeed. Soul Sand does indeed slow me down. Uh, what is it this time? We have so many Challenge XP bottles. Holy moly. Let's stack this up as much as we can. Holy jeez. Okay, let's start putting some of the stuff in the chest because we have a full inventory. Tons of challenge XP. My goodness. Bunch of openables. Uh, we did indeed get a three enchantment crate as well, which is pretty cool. I mean, two helmets. Not too bad. The hammer. Orb of immunity. And then spells, which are, eh, we don't really need them. Some apples. Mining World Pass, which we did get in one of the other openables. One or two challenge passes. Let's move this stuff around. There we go. And an Orb of Flight. Eh, Custom Frame Book. Three kill trackers already. Game. You know I don't like kill trackers. Stop giving them to me. And one random paper schematic. We have eight left, so let's do six. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got an Iron Block Seed. Actually, that's not bad. Three, four, five, six. And then we have two left for the end. And what are we going to get in our last six? Come on. Another Transforming Skull and more Challenge XP. This seems to be the quickest way to get Challenge XP in, in all the openables. There's so much of it. And last two items. There's the Immortal Booster, guys. I told you you could get it. I knew it. Yes, I knew you could. And a Diamond or Seed Level 4, which is just easy diamonds. 
I knew it. I was so hoping and hoping one of my ancient runes would indeed give an immortal booster. Oh my god. That is incredible. Ore seeds. We have some more item XP. I mean, decent amount of item XP in the long run. Almost 20,000. It's getting there. Some challenge XP bottles. Spawn eggs. Orb immunity. Oh my goodness. And our immortal booster, which is exactly what we were hoping for. I mean, more than one would have been nice. But realistically, that's about the best things in the box. An immortal booster, an ore seed box of three, and a legendary relic. The rest is... I mean, challenge XP would be really good. So all you have to do to get Ancient Rune, Legendary Relic, where'd it go? This one. Any of this stuff. Or the Immortal Stone stuff. All you gotta do is mine stone or coal, for instance. That's all you gotta do. That's it. And you can get all these openables yourself and open them up and hopefully get some of these incredible loots. Like, oh my goodness. Okay. We need to do at least one or two challenges just to get it out of the way. Find and open 10 name fragment books. That is actually not too difficult. Let's just warp to our house. We have tons and tons of name fragments in here. I want the smallest ones, which I think is the threes. That's six of them. Oh, Lord. Um, five of those and five of these will give us 10 name fragments opened. We're going to have paper everywhere. Actually, let's do this. Let's do this the smart way, guys. Let, let's not be let's not be silly about this. We're not gonna make a disaster on the island We're gonna go in here grab some hoppers and Then go get some wood make a chest. I think we actually have some chests. Oopsie left over in our pot of gold rewards Just in case I needed more chests Down here Yes, we have two left which is just fine. All we got to do is do two chests connect the hoppers to the chest or to each other and we'll do this side too just in case and let's go one further back doesn't really matter where they connect to but all i'm doing this for is so that when our inventory fills up with name fragments we will be able to just drop them into the hoppers which will then go into the chest which will be perfect we just got famous vengeful luxury another famous too famous already. Holy jeez. Let's keep opening them. We are indeed completing our challenge right now, which is awesome. If our inventory even fills up from these. Abnormal. Lavish. Ooh, Slayer. Ooh, I like Slayer. That's a really cool one. What else do we have here? Meek. Barbaric. Shade. Ooh. And one more back here. And our challenge will be complete. There we go. We got Princess. Vengeful, feeble, oh my goodness, wrathful. Now, I don't think we got our name at all, guys, in all of these. I did not see it pop up. I mean, we only really have one savage. What's the savage? Overlord. That's pretty cool, I guess. But I don't think we ended up getting too many papers extra, which is perfect. So that that's basically a challenge done. It's a pretty easy challenge as long as you save up those name fragments. I mean, we don't really need them for anything. You can use them to rename your, your gear if you don't have that custom fragment book. Like I used for, or somebody used from this Gladiator's Pickaxe. But either way, it's not that difficult. And our final challenge that I do want to do today, and I will do it off camera, is kill 100 monsters. Easy to do, guys. It won't take me too long. I'll probably just AFK those beautiful skeleton spawners. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I love all the support you guys have been giving me across all the episodes this week. We're hitting a thousand plus at views per day it is incredible thank you so much guys smash that like button if you're enjoying this week subscribe if you're new and as always see ya